What's up gamers? I'm John and this is my level up news where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today's Friday, May 31st, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Metal Gear Solid fans are in mourning today as prominent leaker Bilbo Khan reports that Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater has been delayed to 2025, pushing it back from its initial 2024 release date. This leak, which surfaced ahead of Summer Games Fest, hints at more information or a gameplay trailer in the next 10 days. Additionally, the game is expected to have both Standard and Collector's Editions, with the latter priced around $200. Although details about the editions are still unknown, fans are speculating about potential figures or a memorabilia. While we should take this with a grain of salt until Konami or Sony confirms it, this follows a trend of recent major leaks in the gaming industry, including PlayStation's State of Play lineup and Destiny 2's DLC release. Sony's latest PlayStation State of Play event squeezed in 14 games within 30 minutes, but notably dedicated a full 10 minutes to Concord, a new 5v5 hero shooter from Firework Studios. Despite the spotlights, fans were unimpressed, expressing displeasure with the hero shooter genre and drawing comparisons to Overwatch. Social media and YouTube feedback reflect this sentiment, with Concord's trailers receiving significantly more dislikes than likes. Critics linked the game's cinematic to an off-brand Guardians of the Galaxy and the gameplay to a generic Overwatch clone, both of which seem dated and uninspired. In contrast, NetEase's Marvel's Rivals, another hero shooter, received a positive reception due to its established Marvel characters. Concord launching in August and not as a free-to-play title faces an uphill battle to win other players needing to prove itself through gameplay quality despite the negative initial response. Helldivers 2 developer Arrowhead is rushing to issue a hotfix after players encountered a severe bug in the latest major order, Operation Enduring Peace which involves destroying the planet Meridia. The bug causes Pale Titans and Breach Holes to spawn directly on the objective, making the mission nearly impossible on harder difficulties. The community manager confirmed the hotfix is in progress and will be deployed as soon as possible. Given the mission's expiration date next week, some players are calling for an extension. Despite Helldivers 2's success selling 12 million copies in 12 weeks, Arrowhead has faced challenges, including server issues and controversial account linking with the PlayStation Network. Action RPG fans will be intrigued by the reveal of Ballad of Antria, a new IP announced during the May 2024 state of play. Currently, Ballad of Antria does not have a confirmed release date, according to the PlayStation blog entry by Yang Yang, head of the studio at Tipwork Studio. The game is aiming for a 2025 release after four years of development, but is initially vague to manage expectations and avoid potential disappointments from delays. The game will be free to play with extensive post-launch content planned to extend the universe and continue the story. Additionally, a PlayStation 5 beta test is in the works, set to release when it's ready, emphasizing the studio's commitment to quality over rushing development. More information, including a potential concrete release date, is expected later this year. Bungie has issued a warning to Destiny 2 players about potential spoilers for the upcoming DLC, The Final Shape, following a major leak. The expansion set to release on June 4th marks the culmination of a 10-year journey. However, on May 30th, a portion of the DLC was mistakenly made available on PS5's streaming services, allowing a small group of players to access some of the campaign and other content. Bungie urged players to be cautious on social media to avoid spoilers and report leaks to protect the experience for others. Project Lead thanked those preventing the spread of leaks and emphasized the team's hard work and anticipation for the official release. While the final shape is the final chapter of the current Destiny 2 storyline, Executive Creative Director Luke Smith hinted that it might not be the end for the Destiny franchise, suggesting the possibility of Destiny 3. Smith mentioned that after players face the witness in the final shape, Bungie will reveal what's next for Destiny 2 and beyond. The Marvel Rivals closed beta is set to launch in July 2024, following a successful alpha that highlighted the game's potential. Developed by NetEase, this multiplayer shooter features beloved MCU characters such as Scarlet Witch, Groot, Hulk, and Spider-Man. The closed beta will introduce new characters 
an increased player count and enhanced polish compared to the alpha although the exact date hasn't been confirmed more information is expected in june players can stay updated via the official marvel rivals social media channels for registration details unlike the alpha which was exclusive to pc users the closed beta will also be available on playstation 5 although access may be restricted those who reach level 10 in the closed alpha are guaranteed access to the beta. Capcom has been teasing more details about its upcoming open world action RPG Monster Hunter Wilds following an exciting trailer during the recent PlayStation State of Play stream. The game promises a more hostile world than previous installments. In the developer video on the Monster Hunter YouTube channel, the producer mentioned that the game is still in deep development, so details are limited. However, the director and exclusive director and art director revealed that the environment will undergo drastic changes and feature herds of monsters aiming to create a more unforgiving ecosystem. They emphasized the goal of seamless immersion in gameplay and story to make it a masterpiece for action game fans. Fans won't have to wait long for more information as a new trailer showcasing a completely new monster will be unveiled at Summer Games Fest on June 7th. Elden Ring players are advised to prioritize leveling up their Vigor stats 60 ahead of the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC release on June 21st. Veteran players highlighted that increasing Vigor is crucial as it boosts your health, enhancing protection against elements like Poison and Scarlet Rot, and provides better defense against fire attacks, which are expected to be prevalent in the DLC. Reaching the soft cap for Vigor will help players survive longer in fights and withstand the punishing encounters typical of Elden Ring. Additionally, players can bolster their Vigor further with equipment like the Crimson Ember Medallion Plus 2 while balancing your character build is important. Focusing on Vigor early on will significantly improve your chances of enduring the toughest battles in the upcoming DLC, making it a key strategy for those preparing to delve into the expansive new content. Astrobot is set to make a grand return with a new game from the team Sobe, described as the biggest and most ambitious they've ever created, launching on September 6 exclusively for the PlayStation 5. This new adventure follows Astro as he travels across 80 levels and 6 galaxies after his DualSense spaceship breaks apart. The game features diverse environments like jungles, sandy dunes, and unique locations such as an island on the back of a giant crab with renewed experience every 10 minutes. Studio head Nicholas Duchamp emphasizes the game's expansive scope and significant story with cameos from various PlayStation characters to enhance the experience. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.